What's going on Pokemon lovers? So this video I want to talk to you about Pokemon cards. I want to show you my favorite card of all time. It is a Charizard card. If you had this card as a kid, you were king of the playground, the coolest kid around. This card was like the card to have. And I want to show you another one of my cards. This is by the way a Shadow Charizard. It is worth about $50 on the retail market, give or take. Um, it would be worth $1,000 if it said first edition right here in the corner and if it did not have this shadow there and that's what it would be worth. And also, I think the, the wings look blue and it should be green or something. I forget. But anyways, uh, this is another one of my favorite cards. It is the Blastoise and then here's a really cool one. is the Venusaur. The artwork on these are so nostalgic because they're so classic. Like I saw these growing up all the time. I want to share with you some other Pokemon cards that I've collected. Uh, these cards I had got when I was growing up. I'm not much of a collector now. I just found this box in my room and I was like, oh wow, let me share it with uh, my my friends on YouTube. Here's a Ditto. We used to make fun of this girl I know because she looked like a Ditto. It, these are all holographic by the way. This is a Mew. I believe you got this when the movie came out. So when the movie when I was a kid, I uh, went to go see the movie. So that's really cool. And then this is a Ninetales. This is a really good card here. And again, it looks kind of glorious because of the plastic, but it's a Nine Tails. And then we have a Mr. Mime. He's kind of understated. He's a really good, really good uh, Pokemon that I have. All right. And then I love the Toga P. And then I think this is Toga Toga Tick or Toga Chick or something like that. So cool, bro. And then we have, of course, the Pikachu. Uh, Chansey was a really good one. And. Uh, what is this called? Mag Magneton? Yeah, Magneton. I forget how to, Oh, I love this one. This one too. The freaking um what is that? Glaceon. Uh, the Ice Ice Eevee evolution. Uh this one also I got during the movie when the movie came out. It's a promo card. I don't know why he carries like a little Louis Vuitton bag right there, but it is what it is. Uh and then we have the Moltres and the Flareon. They're really cool. These are really cool, like now that I'm older and I look back at these cards, I'm just kind of like, wow, the artwork on it was simply amazing. It really captured a point in time in my life. Mewtwo and a Mew. So if anything, these are really just good for the artwork. Uh, a Dratini or a Dragonair. I think that's a Dratini. Yeah, a Dragonair right there. And then we have a Raichu. And then we have a promo card of Pikachu when the movie came out and an Electabuzz really cool card there I think everyone got this one the Machomp like everyone had a Machomp first edition one too and then of course this guy right here Polly all right oh these are cool okay the Clefairy and the Clefable like re like Clefairy I love how it stood at the bottom somewhere or I heard somewhere that it was something about it it came it came these Pokemon came from like an asteroid that hit earth and that's where they came from. It's kind of like an outer space Pokemon type thing. And then, of course, um, Metapod. <laughs> okay. All right. So I'm almost done. I'm almost done. So I have a Vaporeon uh, holographic. And then I have this regular one that's not holographic. So you can kind of see the difference with the bubbles there. All right. And then, of course, I have a, what is this called? Jolteon. And then I have an Articuno and a Gyarados. I wish I had the red Gyarados, though. Those weren't really that made that much, but I don't, I don't know some people that have them. Um, this one, I forgot his name. He's from like the newer newer type Pokemon. All right, and then we have a Nido King here, which actually this is the even though he's a Nido King, he's the female is reversed in the Animal Kingdom, and then the Hitmochan is there too. All right, and then Espeon was a Psychic Evolution of Eevee, and then we have Umbreon, which is the Dark Evolution of Eevee. And then everyone's favorite Pokemon right here, Dragonite. Is it Dragonite? Yeah, Dragonite. Chilling. He looks a little shy. They said that he could fly around the world like really quick in a couple of seconds, I think. All right, and then we have Muck, Holographic. And, of course, the newer Pokemon here. I'm almost done. And then I have the Execute. I think this is the first edition. And, and then I have a, what is that? Zapdos. Zapdos. And so those are pretty much my, my Pokemon cards that I have that are holographic. I have a few more here, uh, but these are like the newer ones. And then, of course, going back to where it all originated from, the Charizard, the Blastoise, and the Venusaur, 
these cards mean so much to me. Like I said, it's a piece of my childhood, and I love it. And this is the first time I actually take it out of these little sleeves in a while. So I kind of want to be careful with them. But anyways, these are the cards here. I'm going to hold it up for a screenshot maybe. I put Chardar in the middle. He's the boss. But wait, like that. <laughs> All right, but you can check me out on Instagram, Twitter. Wait, I'll just be better if I just do it this way at this point. You can check me out on Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, YouTube. I'll put all the links below. Thanks for watching. All right, peace.